for you guys but this time it's a blue one to be more specific this is more of a teal blue the eyeshadows that I will be using today is from the morphe 35b palette that my husband got me for my birthday because I had been wanting it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my upcoming videos and give this video a like if you enjoyed this look if you want to know how I achieve this look then just keep on watching I already primed my eyes so right away I'm gonna take my Morphe M505 brush and the Morphe 35B palette. For my first transition shade I'm gonna take this light teal shade which is the third eyeshadow in the fifth column. Using the same brush I'm then gonna take the darker teal color which is the first eyeshadow in the sixth column. I'm gonna use this shade as a second transition but place it a little below the first shadow. Taking my Morphe M433 brush, I take the fourth eyeshadow in the seventh column which is a deep navy blue. I'm gonna focus this eyeshadow on the outer part of the eye and slightly bring it into the inner part of the eye. Remember, since it is gonna be a cut crease, we want to have eyeshadow to work with in the inner part of the eye as well. Then I take my Morphe M504 brush to blend those shadows together. To clean up the crease, I take my Tarte Shape Tape and a small concealer brush. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer and place it on the back of my hand. That way I don't have to be digging into the tube. I like to spread the concealer in the bottom part of the eye and then work my way up to the crease. That way I have more control of how high I'm going to want the cut crease to be and avoid making mistakes. This is essentially going to be a cut crease but without the wing. So instead of flaring the concealer up, I bring the concealer down to create a half circle, kind of like a sunset. Then I take my beauty blender to blend the concealer into the eye so we could have a smooth surface to work with. I take my Morphe M505 brush again with a minimal amount of the light teal shade and I brush it on top of the concealer to set it and to give it color. I use this brush because it picks up a little bit of product and I didn't want it to be too pigmented. I do end up adding a few more layers of that light teal shade so the color could have a little more payoff but I like to work in small amounts that way I don't have too much to blend out. Then I take my Morphe M508 brush with a deep navy blue shadow again. And this is just going to be to define that cut crease that we created. I create a thin line with that navy blue shade because I just want to define the line that actually creates the crease and not the whole entire crease. We're pretty much just tracing the half circle and then we're going to end up blending that out just in case it looks too harsh. Taking my Morphe M505 brush, I'm going to take some of that deeper teal shade again to help blend out the crease and also to add a little bit more pop of teal. I'm going to begin adding the black eyeliner and I take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner which is just a black liquid eyeliner. As I've mentioned before, I like to start off with the wing and kind of create a sort of an outline and then fill it in. 
I like to start off thin and then go thicker depending on how thick I'm gonna want my eyeliner that day. And this also helps out so I don't go too thick and then I, it messes up the whole look because black eyeliner is really messy. This time I was going for a super long wing trying to cut somebody up in here so I just added a little more in the tip then of course I just add on some eyelashes these are the Queen Bee eyelashes by Coco Lashes which are my favorites you already know those are all I wear Moving to the lower lash line, I take my Morphe M508 brush with a deep navy blue shadow and I place this shade in close to my lash line. Then to blend out that navy blue, I take the brush that came with the Modern Renaissance palette and I grab some of the light teal shade. And I place this right under the navy blue while also blending it out. Then I take the fluffier side of the brush and I blend everything together. Taking my Nicole Glow Kit, I grab some of Forever Lit with the flat brush. And I use this shade to highlight my brow bone and also my tear duct. This highlight really blended with the blue and it kind of made like an icy blue. So I loved how it turned out. Then I just add some mascara to my lower lash lines. You already know I, this is my favorite mascara for lower lashes. I take my Nicole Glow Kit again but this time with Glow Getter. And this is going to be the highlight that I use all over my face. And put that on both of my cheeks then I add some on my nose and my cupid's bow I always leave this part because it's so satisfying to me just to see you know that highlight pop for my lips I'm gonna go ahead and take my Kylie lip pencil in Dulce K I personally like the consistency of the lip pencil better than the matte liquid lipsticks because I just feel like it's more flexible and it doesn't feel so dry but it's still the beautiful color then we just spray some fix plus all over the face to help keep us moisturized and set everything in and that's gonna be it for today's look I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment Share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I got way too many feels, way too much emotion. I don't even know what's real. I just say fuck it, keep on going. And I get deeper, I get deeper.